Hello everyone, welcome back to PIB Popcorn in Bed. I'm so happy you're here. I don't know what day this will be posted, but I hope you've had a good day. You look great. I'm happy you're here watching a movie with me. I truly mean that. Tonight I am watching a Western and I actually loved the last Western I watched, which was Silverado. I just thought it was so fun. When before the channel, I thought Westerns was maybe the worst genre of movie there was. So, um, and I've actually liked a lot of them. So I'm actually excited for this. Uh, I'm watching Young Guns. This apparently won a live DVD poll in December. I had no memory of that, but I was reminded a few times. So here we are, Young Guns. I know this has Charlie Sheen. I know it has the Mighty Ducks coach, who I, someone told me is Charlie Sheen's brother. And I know it has Kiefer Sutherland who I used to love as Jack Bauer, but then what movie did I watch where he was like the KKK? And then he was another creep in another movie. And then I watched The Lost Boys and now I don't know that he can ever redeem himself for me, but maybe, maybe in this movie. The cover looks like a group of, almost like Magnificent Seven vibes, but you know, group of young cowboys. Hopefully they're the good guys. And um, I'm looking forward to it. Okay, if you want to vote on movies like these and get a say in what I watch, a lot of the movies I pick from polls that we have on our Patreon, that's right here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and let's go. I like these glamour shots. Lou Diamond Phillips, what a name. Charlie Sheen. I don't know what to think about him in real life. Dermot Mulroney for my best friend's wedding. Six, okay. Gonna do that in real life one day. Like, just to like pop bottle, I wanna try. I say we stop off at Juan Patron's for one jolly big dram and one ginger beer with a dollop of whipped cream. Who gets the whiskey? Seniority doc, the one closest to coffee. You must promise not to tell the other boys. It's a promise. Not another hanging. It's weird. This music is weird. <laughs> it's like the Wild Wild West and it's like me, 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 electric guitar. Howdy. Hurry up, don't be afraid. Hmm. You wanna play games, Pendejo? Ah! Mexican greaser! Go what is you little white chicken sh Knock it off! Hey, cut me there, Mexican! <gasps> I feel like he spit his whole tongue out at We've got room in the bunkhouse, my young man. Santa Fe runs out of Albuquerque in the morning. If you do wish to stay, we have just a job for you. Oh! <laughs> <sighs> What you doing here, boy? We work for Mr. Tunstall as regulators. Regulators? You regulate any stealing of his property. Mr. Tunstall's got a soft spot for runaways. Gotta be handy with the steal, if you know what I mean. Handy with a look with a gun? I don't even know why I'm here. Sure I do. Put pad, maybe? Petty thief? Rob a bank? Kill somebody? What? Kill somebody? <laughs> Hey, you ain't no regulator, boy. You just stay here with the pork. Gotta look spooked in the lower 40. Let's take a look. Kind of regulators, Avengers. Just hacking on you, that's all. Yeah, we was just hacking on you. Rumor has it you killed a man, Billy. You don't seem like the killing sort. Yeah, Billy, what you kill him for? He was hacking on me. <laughs> Plenty of men Aww. who will succeed. Succeed? Suc who will never succeed anywhere. We got a whole room full of them right here. But we congregated here to learn to read and write. You need more than skill with a firearm to succeed in the new world. So take up the journal and start where the other boy left off. Young men who don't know how to do any kind of business have no energy or application. They better stay at home near their relatives so they can be taken care of. They are not wanted here and will only come to grief. Men of enterprise are practically sure of success. Splendid. This Splendid is reading, William. Nice of this guy. Why does he keep wanting to shoot this pig? Oh! <laughs> 
What? Good afternoon, gentlemen. Afternoon, John. Mr. Dolan and Mr. Murphy here are complaining about their merchandise wagon being plundered. Quite frankly, John, they think you're behind it. That's a Fargan lie, and you know it, Richard. A Fargan lie. These boys are promising young men, acquiring an education. Well, I've had you pegged as the type that, that likes educating young boys, Englishmen. <laughs> He's just being nice. Do you see our good sheriff sitting up there on that horse? Do you know how much money he's got invested in my store? This is a family thing, Joe. And you don't come prancing in here with your fat foreign capital trying to change things. I shall be damned if I'm going to be dissuaded by something as ugly as political corruption. I'd like you to take your threats and your sheriff get off my property. Ooh. Get ready for hell. Is this a new guy? Mr. Tunstall? My uh, name's Jay McCloskey. I heard you're having some trouble finding help. You're one of Murphy's boys, aren't you? Uh, used to be. Call him a fat sal. <laughs> Bunkhouse is over there. Contracts for the government's beef. Okay. That's what the fight's about a little, I think. He's feeling himself. Let's dance. Oh. So, in return for room and board, the regulators just need to keep the uh, the cattle safe and, and chase off cattle burglars. We have to expose this ring, Alex. You got me in to see the governor. Murphy's beat us to it, and he brought the governor a nice, fat campaign contribution. They figure with me gone, no lawyer would be crazy enough to represent you. If we gave in and left, you'd look after my boys. Heidi, my name's Doc. What can I do for you, young man? Well, sir, if you're an acquaintance of the young miss, I was wondering if I could entreat the young lady to a dance. Why is Murphy at their party? W what's your name? Ian Stone. That's beautiful. You're a friend of Mr. Murphy's? He's my guardian. Hello there. Hello back. William Bonnie, sir. Pat Garrett, excuse us, friend. We have a request for the band. Why was that interaction weird? Shoot, I bet I get to be just as big as him. Bigger. Oh, he's a celebrity or something? I was just informed that you're part of the Tunstall Company, and I'll be expecting to see you follow your Englishman out of Lincoln when he goes. Tell that slut to leave no slime on the road behind him when he crawls back to War Street. Oh, okay, Doc. Okay. Hey. You wanna break up your dance, Doc? Yeah, yeah, he's the girl's guardian. Guardian? He had a shirt ruined in a Silver City laundry. He took the celestial woman's daughter as payment. She's house entertainment, as I understand it. Oh, what, so the dry cleaner wrecked his shirt so he took her daughter? Wait, mister. Oh, it's you and I. Is that right, John? You and I? Yes, yes, it is. They're setting you up. And I. <laughs> Figure out what a pugilist is. Aww. Something bad's gonna happen right now. You can feel it. Go on, Billy. Boys will be boys. Stole. Murphy's henchmen have to be brought in, JP. Yes. I'm gonna take it to court and bring Murphy down. Deputize them. McSween, those are just boys. Ain't one of them over 21. No, I'm not, Alex. All right, then you go tell him. Cause they're not afraid of Murphy's boys or something. So now they're honorary sheriffs type things? Henry Hill's supposed to have been in there with the lady since noon. We're gonna show him the warrant, take him home. Hill, you want another drink? Maybe I'll have Janie here give me a hand. Doctor's gonna tell you you ain't never gonna use it again. Now what the hell is he doing? Oh. Howdy. Oh. <laughs> You're under arrest. Was he supposed to do that? 
definitely wasn't, right? You aren't supposed to smoke anybody! We're the law! In a flaming shootout, the kid, Billy, killed Mr. Hill. Bonnie is believed to be the captain of a deputized gang. El Chivato, Billy the Kid, huh? Heidi. I cannot accept those, thank you. you come on, Yen, I just want to talk. Stop! <gasps> you take a message to your guardian. You tell LG Murphy, regulators, they're gonna clean house. And I mean clean house. That they can't own us like they own a little China girl for the price of a shirt. Okay. Yen, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't tell who's Murphy, who's Brady, who's... Uh, I mean, I found some. Of course, you do, don't you think, Baker? <laughs> Hands up. Not that good. By killing Henry Hill, you all started a war. By killing Mr. Tunstall, you all started the damn war. 50, 60 men. Get your what? Six or seven? We're going to bury you. You can believe that. Taking you to jail. No killing. Objection, Your Honor. These boys are going to the grave in the name of John Tunstall. Take the son of a bitch up to Capitan Mountain and blow their brains out. I don't think we should go by way of South Fork. I think Murphy will be watching the trail in. They'll ambush. I think we should go straight through the lake. Oh. Terrible habit. I saw that. He knows what I just saw. What you talking about? Where's the ambush, McCloskey? You're trying to steer us away from Capitan because you know your men, Murphy's men, to jump us and Lincoln. McCloskey's with us. Yeah, but he used to ride with Murphy. That's what I'm talking about. He's been with us. We made a pact, right, McCloskey? Right. Oh, wow. Uh, now I don't trust McCloskey. I'm sorry, McCloskey. Sorry I didn't sniff you out soon, you damn traitor. Kill it! <gasps> no, what the hell? <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Oh, Billy's a little bit. No! No! I really can't keep track of what's going on right now. Okay. McCluskey was acting strange. Well, then that means we just killed three more Murphy men, right? Right. Oh, Christ, Jesus, Brady's gonna hang us. Skin up the river. Come on, dog. Now! You better stop believing the newspapers. You ain't no captain, and you sure as hell ain't no Robin. He's a little trigger happy, I think. Oh, well, that's me. Yeah, this is bullshit. A kid, a left-hander, is tall, handsome, and unequaled in the elements that appeal to the holier emotions. Murphy of Lincoln has hired none other than John Kenny. Says here he's an ex-soldier who suffered an injury and is now a bounty hunter. Oh boy, they need they really need to stand guard. We can go west to the Valley of Fires, Escalero Reservation. Is that poop? come to a place where we are lost, no? When an Indian is lost, he must reach into the spirit world to find a way. We're lost right now, but I'll find us the way. Oh, Christ. We're running out of time here, Chavez. Is that any good? It's like a mushroom. <coughs> oh, they're like... Chavez, what, what is that? It's like a psychedelic. Peyote. Peyote. Now what? They're gonna be too easy a target if they're all tripping. It's like a butterfly. It's like flies. Flower doesn't know why, just feels it. <laughs> Wait. Chicken. No, no butterfly. Someone's gonna get very hurt. You guys. <laughs> oh, must we? Okay. This is great. I'm concerned. <laughs> That's real. <laughs> he just thinks his voice sounds like that, right? Seriously, gonna hurt somebody. I'm a butterfly. She's mine. Bring it on in. Saddle up. Ah! Ah! Regulators! Lord, forgive us for our wrongdoing, for our misguidance by heathen religions. Thank you for keeping us alive. Please help guide us in doing the right thing. Ow. <laughs> Please, Dick, it's getting cold. I could have killed you, Dick. I could have killed you. But I don't want to kill you and want to eat. When we finish this meal, you little rodent, we're going to go out in the yard and see who has the right to run this group of regulators. By the well-heeled man coming his way, it's Buckshot Roberts. We got a warrant for him. You think he's come to surrender? He's killed more people than smallpox. I got a warrant for you, old man. I ain't got no business with that war no more. I'm here to get that $150 Sheriff Brady's putting down for the kid. Let's dance. Oh, 
What? <gasps> Travis! I think I liked him the most! Go in there and cut the son of a bitch in half. Damn, last three. Why is this guy so good at shooting? And they can't, there's six of them shooting at one guy! He's got to be so dead. What are we going to do? Dick just got his guts blown out. Back, what are we going to do? The place going to be crawling with Murphy, but get the hell out of here. But the guy in the bathroom has got to be hit, right? They're just going to wander in the desert? Billy the Kid. And this is like the story of him because, you know, I've heard that name. Remember he was in jail in um, Green Mile? No. Sounds of the lambs? Sounds of the lambs. No. We can't touch the sheriff. Dick said so. You know that. Yeah, well, Dick ain't around anymore, is it, Charlie? And right now, Sheriff Brady's in desperate need of being removed from office. We're not going after Brady. No, Murphy, man. No more. I told you I would find a way, and the way is west. Well, let it go. Let it go? Murphy's taking inventory in Tunstall store right now. And you're saying it means nothing to you? It means nothing to me. Murphy and his politicians have taken more blood from me than they ever will from you. The Red Sand Creek Reservation. 207 people butchered in the snow with their stomachs empty. My mother's people. You see, Murphy and company was under government contract to supply us with beef. He sent only rotten meat. So I went out with a band in the night to a trader's camp to try and get food. Oh yeah, they welcomed us in. And then they opened a fire on us. I got away, only me. Oh my gosh. My mother was cut by a saber from her privates to her neck. My sisters were just babies and they had their heads bashed in with boot heels. Everybody on my reservation was butchered and it means nothing to me. Yeah, I went to Lincoln to take Murphy's head and that's when John Tunstall found me. Oh. And he took me in and he taught me a better way to bury Murphy. Now he's doing it to every small farmer in the territory. Uh -huh. But you want to run, go ahead. Just go right on ahead. You got no loyalty, Navajo. Navajo. Guys. He just bore his soul to you. No, I don't know what your vision told you, but my vision told me we're headed for blood. Blood like a river. I'm the last of my clan. If I die, and I'm not afraid of dying, Javon, the sacred hoop is broken. Now I have to go west and make my people live again. You ain't saying much, Dirty Steve. Because he ain't got much to say, Charlie. Oh, Steve understands the meaning of the word pals, don't you, Steve? So you got three, four good pals. Well, then you got yourself a tribe. There ain't nothing stronger than that. We're your family now, Chavez. You walk away from us, you break our sacred hoop. We gotta stick together, fellas. It's the only way I see it. Sounds like Murphy does need to be taken down. But what did Chavez mean when he said that Tunstall showed me the right way, a, di a better way to take out Murphy? Did he mean like competing against him with the beef? to lay with me and then cut me into tiny pieces with a knife. You're the bandit who eats children and old people. I eat meat and potatoes. If you want to stay here, tell me now and I'll go. Do you want to stay here? In China, girls are not necessary. When we have floods, fathers let the girl babies wash by. My benefactor has made me necessary. Made you necessary? He's made you a slave. Stop calling him your benefactor. Necessary is something you can't do without. I can't do without you. I keep the flowers that you offered me. In a little room inside my head, inside my heart. Often you come in and you ask me to dance. Often I say yes. I want you to go with me to Roswell. There's a railroad going to New York City. Two days we could be on a train. We could be in another country, in a city together. He's leaving the pals? He ain't very original, is he? He's been gone off a long time. I have a feeling he's going to be making a run for it. Doc likes me. I can't stand him. <laughs> You with him much longer, I'm gonna be a stiff in a photograph. The only chance I have is to get hell bent for leather now. You're necessary. Come with me again. Yes, she so she wouldn't go. But now I feel like Murphy's gonna be so mad hey, at and he knows. Why? Doc's back! We're gonna have a lot of fun now. So did Chavez stay? Top of the morning to you, girls. Ooh, was that Sheriff Brady, the one that he just hit? That is Sheriff Brady. Reap the whirlwind, Sheriff Brady. 
The governor's revoked your deputization powers. You're now wanted by the legitimate law as well as those outside the law. The governor's put a $200 bounty on your head. We're living up here like fugitives. What the hell do you think you're doing out there? He's not wrong. Maybe I'm trying to get some attention. The more bastards I dust, the more news stories they write. The more troops they send after us, the more President Hayes gonna have to raise an eyebrow. Come down and see for himself. Seems like a little bit of a justification, but okay. I'm gonna try to reach the president myself, legally. What if you can't get in touch with Hayes? I'll go back to Lincoln and reopen John's store. Try to deal with that. That's what John would want. Well, where will I escort you? You'd be a death sentence to anyone now, Billy. I don't want your help. You didn't see what they did to John. <sighs> Christ, Billy. Thank you, Billy. Billy, please, go to Old Mexico. Please. Gentlemen, let's ride. I... I... Still keep it as a souvenir. I was wondering if you remember that China doll. I was sort of thinking that because you're lawyer and all, maybe that there was a legal way that I don't even have enough ground to stand on anymore, Doc. I mean it. Take care of yourself, Alex. Dirty Steve told me, Billy. Stephen told him about the party Sheriff Pepin's planning for us. Oh, you mean the hanging? You ever see a man hang? His face turns flat purple and his eyes come up on him. If we get caught, Charlie, we're gonna hang. But there's many a slip twixt a cup and a lip. We gotta do something before he catches. <laughs> I guess Billy is the new foreman of this group. Square up and shell out for boundary. <laughs> What's your name? Charlie. I don't remember you, but I guess you remember me. I meet so many young men out for the first. Um, ma'am, I just want to hold you. Ma'am. Whatever your pleasure, Charlie. But it all costs the same. I kind of feel sorry for him. You can't kill what you can't catch. They say that Blito is half horse. Devil. <laughs> Are you really gonna kill Billy the Kid? Yeah, if he's man enough to come around here. Is that the gun you're gonna shoot him down with? Can I touch him? You know Iron Boy? Yes, sir. Is that Mr. Anderson guy from the Matrix? Pass it back. That their gun killed Ed Rollins. Is that right? Little lady in the house. Okay, pass it back, son. Want to know what to look for in case I run into him? I'll come back and tell you. Oh, he's a good-looking kid. Way with the women. <laughs> Dresses like a dandy, and he's a left-hander. People say he's fond of whistling sad ballads. Hey, I see him. Right there, right there. Don't you see him? <laughs> you know, boy, I'm getting a little tired of your wise lip. You get yourself someplace else before I have to drop your britches in front of all these fine ladies. Yeah, sure, you are a testy little cuss. They're all just like, well. <laughs> Uh-oh. Sparkled and shone in a dazzling and blinding manner when one looked upon it. The shoes worn by this young left-handed prince of the plains were low quartered with patent silver spurs in the heel. Ah! Oh. Billy, I was thinking about our course. It looks like we're going back into Lincoln. I know we can't be going back into Lincoln. We are. So I... Christ in heaven, Billy, what are you thinking? We're lucky to be alive. I mean, going back to Lincoln, that's crazy. We'll find the rest of the men who killed John. 100 against five. We take Murphy and the ring falls. Uh. We take him. We win this war. I chose your way, Chivato, but I don't trust it anymore. It is getting to Billy's head. The pride, the... You're all scared, and you're gonna fail the test. You have to test yourself every day, gentlemen. Once you stop testing yourself, you get slow. And when that happens, they kill you. You fellas don't feel that? Like when John Kenny's riding up on our ass, and the balls are flying, and the blood goes right to your head? Gosh. We cannot win this war. Not the five of us. You want to get the president's attention? Go ahead. Tonight I'm riding to the border. I'm gonna get myself a hot meal and a good night's sleep. Come morning, I'm a Mexican. Yeah, me too. Mexico, huh? Y'all are testing yourselves and you don't even know it. Trying to make it to old Mexico, that's a hoot. <laughs> They'll be covering every possible which way in from Texas to Arizona. John Kenny knows everyone down along the border. He There's a full is... day's ride through them thorns we all love so much. It also makes good hiding place for scalp hunters and renegade Indians. I feel like he's you just BSing. I'm really not liking him. <laughs> so, did we go back to Lincoln? Or we will go to, we went to Mexico? Dear Governor Axtell. Axtell. Right. I have heard that you will give, uh, what is it? Uh, 200. 200 dollars for my head. Perhaps we should meet and talk. I am at the Juarez village at the border. Send three men and instruct them not to shoot. It is getting to his head. In short, sir, I surrender. Damn good riding with you. Why are they saying goodbye? Many nights I put a blade to your throat while you were sleeping. <sighs> Glad I never killed you, Steve. You're all right. <laughs> 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 
Charlie loves the woman, I think. P.S. I changed my mind. Kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Pat Garrett. That's right. Going back to Louisiana for family business. Wanted to see the boy who's become such a sensation. Gonna be hell as a sheriff if they let me. The officials have asked me to run. Well, then I'm asking you to run, too. That way, or I'll take your shit and scalp like I did Brady's. I come to tell you some bad news about a friend we share. McSween, Tunstall's lawyer. <gasps> He's gonna die tomorrow. He and his wife at his house. His wife? Are you my friend? Yes, I am, Bill. We gotta go warn Alex. Maybe send a pigeon? Regulators! <laughs> that was nice while it lasted. Maybe you should stay. You can't shoot where the piss anyhow. Besides, your girl's crying. She's really giving me a headache. Charlie, you got a wife now. You should stay. Ain't easy having pals. Oh, Charlie. Words out. They're gonna come kill you. I told you not to come here. Alex, if you stay, they're gonna kill you. I'm gonna have to go around and kill all the guys that killed you. Maybe. You heard me. Well, we can't just stay here and hope that the good Lord saves us from an all-out. Susan, I can't go to old Mexico. Oh. I'm coming around the front. How is it from the east side? Murphy, man. Do they know they're here? Charlie, how's it over by you? Can we break? <laughs> it's John Kinney. I think the word you got was just a trap to get us all together in the same place. They, can, they figure they can end the war right here in one fell swoop. And that's what they're just about to do. John Kenny, thank you very much, Charlie. Hanging for sure now. I don't think you'll make it to the hanging. Take a look at the firepower down here. Y'all come on out real slow. Yeah, I'm here, you bastard. <laughs> Okay, we got a, is there a back entrance? They are like 150 to one. We gotta show these guys that finally met their match. I see you got Charlie Crawford down there with you. Yeah, we got a whole lot. Oh my God. Charlie Crawford ain't with you anymore. <laughs> oh, let Alex and his wife go out with their hands up, guys. Take two rifles, go on upstairs. Maybe your last chance to handle John's case. Active participation in the gun battle would negate my life insurance policy. I can't do that. We know you can shoot, Bonnie. Chavez is the one that truly wants the revenge on Murphy, isn't he? What? Now they're just trying to wait him out? Oh boy. Billy, we're good, but this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> I can't figure out. Oh no. I like these odds. I can't figure out how this is gonna end. Full military attack. Destroy them. China! Yeah! 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 Burn it! How does this end? They're gonna really burn it? Billy the Kid ends up in jail, doesn't he? Or is that false part of the future that I've seen in another movie? I really just don't see how they get out of here. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta get away. If you don't stand up and start whipping some ass, you ain't never gonna see her again. No! They lit it, boys. They lit the house. Come on out with your hands high. With your hands high. <laughs> Why is that funny? I better reason with him. You can kiss my ass! <laughs> you get President Hayes down here! Then we'll come out! Gosh! Hey, Kenny, you bastard! <laughs> I'm gonna shoot your head from here to Patricio if I have to! You're not getting anyone, Charlie! He's gonna get shot, isn't he? He's not afraid to die, is he? She's getting her plates. Let my wife come out! Go! This is it. This is it. Over the other side of the street so I can do my job. Murder! Get her out of here! Get her out of here! Take her away!
the guy? This is really not how I saw this ending. Oh my gosh! Reaper Murphy, you son of a... Governor Axtell was forced to resign by President Rutherford B. Hayes. William H. Bonney, also known as Billy the Kid, continued to ride, never leaving New Mexico. I th he, he got shot, shot twice. Sources report that he was unarmed and shot in the dark. He was buried with Charlie Bowdry at Old Fort Sumner, identified person, and chiseled an inscription. The epitaph read only one word, pals. So was that mostly a true story? So Pat Garrett was a, was a, was a sneaker? He, he was a backstabber? He set them up? Okay, Billy the Kid. <sighs> Well, maybe my hopes were too high coming off of Silverado because I loved Silverado. And this was entertaining for sure. It just felt like a couple steps down in story and budget, but it was still entertaining. I guess I just wanted more heart and story of him and the boys. Like he came in, it seemed for like five minutes before John was killed. And then, you know, he was on this quest and I couldn't tell if his quest was to actually avenge John or just like, cause he likes killing people. You know, the music, the rock music, I feel like, okay, it's kind of different, but like didn't work as well for me as like a sweeping Silverado soundtrack. I don't know. I just didn't like the story as much, I guess, but, um, or understand it as much, um, with the cattle ring, the rings and all that going on. I'm interested to know what is historically accurate in that about Billy the Kid and what was dramatization. For you guys, where does this rank among modern-ish westerns? I know I've got a lot more to watch in this category. And like I said, it was fun, it was entertaining, there was some funny parts, the dynamic back and forth. But also just a lot of people dying, like a lot of people. Charlie Sheen died like halfway through and Charlie just got married and no one even seemed to like Billy in his own group. Mr. Tunstall likes Billy though. I just wish I got to see more of the relationship. I love a backstory. Okay, thank you for watching along. I'll see you again soon.